the Hero 10 Black is here and we've got all of the information, the leaks, the specs, the price, and some images of it ahead of its launch. Exciting news, Pete, in the world of action cameras. Good, good. GoPro Hero 10 Black is GoPro, coming. GoPro, the original. The OGs. The OG action camera that are, everyone rips off. Are going to drop the new Hero 10 Black any day now. Just give honest. it to me. Give okay. it to me. Okay, well, the price first. All of it. No, right, no, okay. the price lasts. Yeah, that's the way yeah, it's that's done. That's the way it's done, isn't it? So, the Hero 10 Black is going to have a 23 megapixel sensor, which seems... Ridiculous and misread. Yeah, it does. For a, for a tiny form factor camera. Um, the big news about it is that they have their new GP2 processor in the camera, which is going to improve all of the aspects of this camera's performance, right. as we'll see in the new specs. Sounds exciting. It does. I got no idea what the difference is. N no. I guess the one before was GoPro One processor. And that's the problem with you not being in the click. Yeah, I don't know everything. Uh, I have to scrap around for little leaks and mm. snippets and put more together. But I do that for them because they love it. Give me more, AJ. Give me Hyper more. Smooth 4.0. I knew it would be something like that. That's the stabilisation, that is. isn't it? Hyper Smooth. And this is described from GoPro as groundbreaking. Groundbreaking in comparison to the one that they came out with already that it, was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, the one that they described as before as revolutionary. Wow. I, you know... It's, it is good. It does feel still feel a little bit car sicky. Yeah. I haven't seen 4.0 yet. Maybe that's better. They Maybe 4.0 is the amount of times that it crops into the footage to make it <laughs> get, totally get that good. Um, and talking of cropping, um, you'll have plenty of real estate to do that with because we have a 5.3K at 60 FPS maximum resolution. That should do you. If, if yeah. you like action, that's fast enough. And the GP2 processor is apparently going to allow them to use HyperSmooth on every video mode available. When before, wow. that, if you were a faster frame rate or perhaps maximum resolution, you couldn't. You can't have everything. Now you can have everything because wow. of that new processor. So Cake and eat. Exactly. 5.3K at 60 FPS. If you're into super slow-mo, uh, you can do 240 FPS at 2.7K. No, or, we should do that. Or 4K 120. Well, I'd say that this is the one camera that you probably do. Okay. You know, because it's for sporty types. Yeah. Action, adventure. Um, the area that historically let down the GoPro before was, well, it looked a bit shit. Out of all the action cameras, it was the least shit. It was the least, yes. The lesser of all the evils. Um, they have improved contrast and low light performance. Again, that new processor helping the image technology. So hopefully it looks a bit less shit than before. Yeah. But I really dislike how they look generally. But I guess they're not for us. Well, they're, they're on the scale of shit, mm. you've got dash cams. <laughs> yes. That, that's extreme. That's extreme shit, yes. Then you've got cheap, mass-produced, white-labeled, yeah. Yeah. not a GoPro cameras. Yeah. And then you've got kind of building up. Like SJ cam. Yeah, a little bit less shit. And then you've got the not, not what was that British shit company? as all the rest of them. Olfie. Olfie, yes. Yeah. They were quite that's, good. Out of all of them, yeah. that's that's nearest to GoPro. Yeah, and then GoPro. And now they've taken a big step forward. So hopefully we'll see that. <coughs> if um, you like action cameras, let's face it, there's only a couple you should really consider. Yeah. Um, the full colour front facing screen that they had on the previous model has been improved and so is the live streaming performance we have the same 1700 milliamp hour battery which is a bit of a disappointment you'd hope that they'd be able to increase that especially considering the final spec just get yourself an Ulfi cam save the money the price has increased it's gone up it's gone up to 540 yeah. Is that the chip euros. problem? Is it, oh, the parts of it. Oh, uh, we're, it we're actually, still struggling with silicon. It actually is one of the considerations is that components have gone up in price. Right. And there is anticipated stock shortages for, at launch of this camera. 
but it's the first GoPro to break that 500 mark in price. Wow. And that's a big mark to You've break, isn't really it? You've got really love it, yeah. that, haven't you? Bear in mind, it's going to deliver a certain type of shots. It's not going to be... Well, you Some shouldn't use this yeah. for everything. Yeah. But then I guess if you're filming on your mobile phone, then filming on a GoPro is forgivable. Yeah, true enough. With B-roll and stuff. But it's not going to be your main camera, and it's coming into the price bracket of main yeah. camera. Yeah. And I'm not talking about you know, 4K setups or mm -hmm. proper film cameras um, or 6K or 8K, but I know they're saying it's got this bigger sensor, it's better technology. Can it really be that good? Mm. Um, not compared to a mirrorless camera that you could get at that price. When you watch their trailers, like a second, I always think, "Oh my god, that camera's amazing!" Yeah. But then I thought that when I saw like the iPhone four, the iPhone five, the Filmed iPhone six, the iPhone, yeah. and what's the one that shoots in dark mode? Is that like ten or eleven? It's got like a night mode, and mm. you go, "That's the best phone camera I've ever seen." Yeah. You get one, you try to replicate it. There we go. There you go. That finally, one. finally. Wow. <laughs> that didn't kill the moment yeah yeah and it's it's not very good yeah it's, there. It's, so, so yeah um 500 quid 540 wow um that's eye-watering we're expected to see it any day but as if you're watching this as a clip you would have seen the images that have been linked they've come from a retailer um we've seen it now uh, you, you've, I, you've now got an issue haven't you when it's a cheap action camera and you put your suction cup on the outside of the car. That's just getting there, yes. You don't mind it too much. Nope. It drops off. It's going to drop off at some point. Yep. Um, but would you want to do that with 500 quid? Smacking against the tarmac. No way. Um, that's that's pricey. Yeah, would you want to put it on the inside of a corner while you do your driving video? Yeah. Or like on your helmet as so you're doing down mountain biking, downhilling, whatever. Yeah, that's the one. I don't know what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really into the sports. The, the, the sporting. Whilst you're doing that outdoor sporting in the mud. Or equally, you're just taking it on your kayak or something with water nearby that's yes. dangerous. The water sporting. The water sporting. <laughs> and um, it gets squirted all over and nobody wants that. Nobody no, wants to be squirted all over. No. Well, maybe they do, oh, but okay. not with a £500 camera. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's best for. 540 quid. Would you buy one? That's the burning question. There's part of me that's always been interested. It's like a drone, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a drone. But now let's put that out there. DJI are releasing their new drone in the UK for Christmas. Uh -huh. You've got some free money from a partner. What do you want? They're saying to you. What do you want, AJ? Just tell me what you want. What do you want, AJ? Let me get you a present for Christmas. Any clues? Any clues? What do you want? And you're thinking... Drone, yeah, GoPro, yeah, PlayStation Five, you, yeah, c but it's still not available. Oh, okay, uh, in that case, I'd go with a drone. Yeah, because you do more I with would. it. I think I would, and it takes hand gestures. I like giving you hand gestures. <laughs> <laughs>